Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, I think I found out why I'm destroying my gears and uh, not getting, not being happy with the rides that I have or had. Um, these are the hot racing ones, the 34 tooth. And as you know, that's the tracks and stuff up there. That's the orbital gear that broke along with the last one, this guy here that broke. So now I got um, this spur gear on here. I got this off of eBay and they said it's rated for 130 miles an hour plus. So I got that and then the GDS gear. I got a 27, a 29, and a 30. Uh, I just, well, I don't know why I got so many different ones so close together, but we're gonna see what they do. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna need them or use them someday on one of them. So uh, check this out. Um, I mesh them all the same way. So I have plenty of room and it's not tight or anything like that. So everything seems to be fine. But what I'm thinking is drag racing with Mod 1 gears is not going to work because it's not the cars. Uh, it's the takeoff that's killing it. It's, it's, the, it's the takeoff that's just snatching all the teeth off and destroying the gear. Because you can't, I can't accelerate like that on 6S, 8S. I can't just take off like that with these gears because I usually have to roll into it and then let it go ahead and go and, and go for a while. And then I'll see the numbers that I want. So I finally got the GPS on there. So we good now. But yeah, I figured that out. Hopefully I'm not wrong. But if anybody got anything for me, let me know something. I'm, I'm open here to all feedback. But yeah, I'm just gonna use this one for drag racing. I mean, um, speed running and speed running only. And that's all this one's gonna be used for. I got my eye on two other um, RCs. One's a Nitro and one is a E-Power. But both of them are GT cars. This is the last of the Traxxas you'll see on my channel. Not bashing Traxxas, Traxxas is a good brand, it's cool. But it's not what I need for what I wanna do. Drag racing with that is not really gonna work for me. All right, so uh, if you got any feedback on the gears for the drag racing gears, I'm going to slide with the 32 pitch and see what I get out of that first, maybe even the 48. So I'm going to grab probably $60 worth of gears or something like that and see what I got going on. But I won't do that until I get my other vehicles because, like I said, this is just going to be for speed runs only. I mean, I can switch it up, but... I don't want to. I like the way it's set up and it really and it does move when it's when it's moving. So like I said, it's just the initial exertion of all that power. It just rips the teeth off of whichever one it landed on, it takes the teeth off. Or in this guy's case, it takes the whole half side of them off. So and my orbital gear is like almost locked up. And that's another thing too, fellas. I got a uh, set up. I'm gonna uh I I, I I did it for my partner on his rustler and uh, I'm going to do it on mine. I'm going to go ahead and put positive traction to both of my wheels because you notice how like when you pick the car up and you roll one wheel, the other one goes the opposite direction. Yeah, that's cool. And they did that for a reason, but I want to put positive traction to both wheels. So I'm going to lock that orbital gear up with some JB Weld. I ain't, you don't have to uh super fill it up just cover the gears up so that they're real you know it's all covered up and then put the cap back on and tighten it back down and probably wait psh, wait a few hours and then you can probably put it in but i'd wait a little while longer just to make sure it cures up real good and then once you go ahead and put it on there you'll see that both wheels will turn in the same direction and you'll be like damn okay for sure but you don't have to take my word for it i'm gonna show i'm gonna do a, a video on it when i do this one because i gotta pull this one apart out of this transmission and uh fix that one so i'm gonna take the gears out of that one and put them in that one and when i do that i'm gonna do a video and i'll show you what i mean when i uh use the jb weld on it all right fellas you know what it is get back out there and build something we're gonna get it on